Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fast Ball 40, and this video is good for two reasons. The first, you're going to get great trading tips for the rest of the headliners. As you know, this video series is me doing the tips I've been showing you to show you how I can make a million coins over the course of headliners. I'm going to be blunt with you, I'm going to make more than a million. We're already at 700k, I think, and I've been reinvested stuff. I know it says 235 there, but I'll show you why in a minute. But also, today's video is the £15 giveaway. I promise you guys... We're going to draw out the £10 winner in a minute, so that person will just need to inbox me to get their prize. Um, but the £10 winner will be there. If you are new around here, make sure you're subscribed to enter. You have to be subscribed to enter this giveaway. I can find that if you're not. But it's a £15 gift card giveaway, or if you're just that bothered, I'll just transfer you 15 quid on PayPal. However you want to do it, we can do it. Um, but it's a £15 giveaway for someone to win a video. Uh, theirs. We're going to go ahead now and do the win winner for the first one. That's the URL for it. We're going to get YouTube comments, 42 comments, people entered it. I'm going to pick out the winner. All the names are there. And the winner is going to be Wade Seven, who correctly said all five players are to invest in. So Wade Seven, DM me, bro. You can get your prize. A uh, £10 gift card coming your way or £10 to pay for however you want to do it. It's fine. And we'll be explaining to you guys later in the video how you can enter a £15 giveaway. And do not forget, next week it's a £25 giveaway. Giveaway to galore and trading tips galore. But let's get into this video. So, as you can see... My trading part, my trading amount, and my, my 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 coins have gone down. They've gone down because I actually trade and I do the trading. What we did today, we, we we sold a lot of silvers, but then we we had a few left over that were a bit higher because the markets crashed off. Um, so first thing to note tonight, EA brought out, and I'll show you it now. And this is why I say to you, it's so effective. I made in the end four hundred thousand coins from Thursday flipping. So buying the um silvers on Thursday and flipping them on the Friday, I made four hundred thousand coins. Today, EA brought out. A headliner challenge, which had a prime mixed players pack in it, which meant silvers went onto the market. And they also brought out the Adama Traore. And this is exceptional value for money, in my opinion, for the card. And they put a premium mixed players pack in that. Some more silvers on the market. So realistically, you've got those. Plus, people open up SPC packs and whatever. So the silver market has utterly, utterly crashed right now. Um, it's massively down. It's hugely down. And that SPC is really, really good. We'll explain why the SPC is good in a minute for you guys. But what happened was... If you go to my transfers and what I've sold, if we have a little look at, let's say, Miserolian and these guys, I sold them cheap at 1500 beforehand. They're now selling for about seven, 800 coins. What I did was I went out and I bought loads and loads and loads more silvers. It's guaranteed profit. It will make you bank. This here, it looks like there's only like four or five on them. There's not. There's tons of them on there. Um, the silvers, I, I, I've spent another 300k probably on silvers. I did turn that to 600k. Uh, as you can see, I've got 200 and something K on the account already. So we're looking at 600, like 800 and something thousand at the end of this. I also went out and bought Ilara Mendes. And now, why did I buy Ilara Mendes? I don't really like and haven't really liked this year SBC for the trading. Okay, I haven't liked it. It's not been effective. Except when EA bring out an SBC that people like. Now, I paid about 2.2 to 2.4K for those Ilara Mendes. A couple, I think I bought 2.5, which is a little high. Ilara Mendes now is selling for about 2.6, 2.7K, but he's... Well, 2.2 that I could have bought that one, to be fair. He's climbing, comfortably climbing. So I'm going to hold out on my ones and list them for about 3k once they're gone. Reason being, the Adama Traore is very good value for coins. In my opinion, it's one of the better value SPCs they've bought out for headliners this year. Well, for SPCs full stop, but it's good for headliners. It's 284 to 85, I think. And now, what are the telltale signs for a good SPC for fodder? Number one, hype around the player. There's always hype around the Adama Traore. Everyone's talking about it this year, so everyone's doing them. Number two, good value. One team in the week is 84, one team in the week 84, one team in the week 85. It's 240k, I think it's coming in as. Now everyone goes, that's very expensive. For a player of this calibre, in my opinion, it's not. His weak foot lets him down, but there's so much hype about this guy that no matter what happens, people will want to do him. 99 pace, I stick a hunt with him, he's a fiend. People love this card. It's not something that I never use. I don't think it's good enough, personally, for me. But people love this card, people love his pace, people love his strength, his stam, and his pace. So he's, he's massively hyped up. He, like Twitter went mental for it. Very, very good. Also, though, don't sleep on people like Sanchez. 86 rated follows up. This is an incredibly good value SPC. 86, uh, 86 rated followers up, 87's up, 85's up, 84's are up. Because people put an 88 or an 89 to this, and then they put an 83 and 84 to top it up. So this card is great value again. Premier League in 86. Look at his stats. They're very OP, OP, very, very good. Not far off that Bernardo Silver card that we got for, what, 300-something K. People do his cards, 150K, people are doing. So fodder is up. So now for you guys, you can still do it right now. Go and snipe the fodder. People are going to be doing this in the next 24 hours. 
You've got six days here, technically. They'll they'll keep fodder up. So go and snipe fodder. You'll make you'll make coins. Those are Lara Mendes. I'm gonna make so far five hundred coins off each. If I sell them at three hundred, I bought ten of them. Eight hundred profit. Eight thousand coins profit. Easy bank. Another thing that's worked out really well. Everyone was saying to me, sell the Mertens because they thought he, he might not get in. That's how I held. Mertens is up. Massively up so far. I think he's at 25s at the moment. Maybe slightly less than that. But the longer he's out of packs for, the more money I'm going to make. This Mertens is... I think he's at 25 earlier on. Yeah, about 25. Couple of 24 on there. Get that one's gone. Couple of 24s on there. But we'll just sit, hold him for now. Do nothing with him. And let him rise, okay? So it's going to see me make even more coins. Make, make way, way more coins long term. So now, look at it this way. Uh, actually, another one to show you, actually. So Lewandowski has come out. And I think there's been a bit of panic selling for Nabry on the market. So I bought that in from Nabry. That I showed you guys. Now I'm just going to show you what he's doing at the moment. Uh, let's go minimum 70. Special. Max like 85. I think he's I think he's massively like panic sold at the moment, which I'm, I'm happy with. He will climb. So I bought him at 80, and he's about that now, realistically. I'll buy that one. I'm going to buy that one. <laughs> there you go. Making straightaway trading. I'm going to hold on to that Nabry to see if he goes up. I'm in, I'm in no stress to, with him at all. I will hold him and see if he goes up. That one there, 6k under the other one in the market. Again, another example of link investing. So what do I want to say to you guys about link investing? The head on this team, let me get up on, you, on Twitter, actually. Um... So we've got it. Let's go to EA, make it easier for myself. EA Sports FIFA. Where is it? Right. So, players that are going to go up, players that link to these players, link investing, link buying, link. So when when the when the uh, lightning rounds happen and the packs are open, buy them low, sell them high. They will always go up in value. Lewandowski will see links to Nabry. That Nabry probably will go up in price once people have used it. Neymar, links into Neymar. So you're like the likes of your Mbappe is obviously going to go up in price. There's a Cam Neymar as well, which is OP as anything. Uh, Brazilian centre-backs, uh, CDM, probably, probably go up in price. Mertens, I would normally say nine golden, but obviously nine golden's here. But Allen will go up in price, I think. Um, Vardy, I'll show you an investment I made. Again, V273 advised me on it. I'm going to give him all the credit if I, if I make bank out of it. But uh, Vardy, English players, Rashford's in form, could do really well on that. Um, Semedo, Longley might go up in price. Varane, look at Courtois, probably go up in price. Longley again might go up in price. Um, Marcelo's card, normal card, might go up in price. And there might be more demand now to do Marcelo's left-back card because it's Varane's there to link to him. Um, Walker the same. You want to think about players might link to him, like Laporte perhaps. Remember, this is only team one. So think about it this way. Everything I'm teaching you now, you can learn now, but you can also then put, put it forward to team two. Okay, you can go right. I'm going to do this for team two. This is what my team two is going to be. Um, this is what team two is going to be. This is what I'm thinking. And you can start thinking, right, who do I invest in? Who do I buy? But if I show you my transfer pile, I bought on the, uh, on the opinion of uh, RV because he knows the stuff. Sterling and Aspas. Now this Aspas I paid 93k for, I think, with a hunt on, 91k with a hunt on him. And this Sterling I paid 146 for. Now if we go have a look at them already. Sterling is... I can just do the left wing card. Sterling. Position left wing. He was already up at about 150 plus earlier on. Um, but that might have gone up a bit more. Look, 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 look. Maybe he is the man. <laughs> He's the man. He helps me out so much. 168. So I paid 146 and already got 20k on the guy. 20k profit on Sterling straight away. Easy as pie. Really, really like, decent to go for. And Aspas wasn't up as much earlier on when I checked. But Iago Aspas. Uh, we'll just leave him like that. We'll do Kevin style Hunter. We'll get the left wing as well. Went the long way around there, apologies. Um, I'm in by now, we'll go 70. And now he's up at... The night, there's one for 93 there. It's the only one that's just been listed on the market. You could buy that if you wanted to. He's climbing all the time. I'm going to try and hold out for him and see if we can make some more coins out of him. Realistically, I can sell him now for... Once these guys come off the market, 100Ks, we're looking at probably something in the region of about... 105 maybe, make myself 10k profit out of him too. So you should be thinking that same way with these cards. You should be thinking, at a low point in the day, the Sterling could be worth picking up. I might pick him up now and then list him for later on in the day for, for more money. Conversely, when the Team 2 gets released, again, in your mind should be, who can I link to who? Who are these guys link to? Who are these guys going to play with? Who are these guys, like, who are the guys that are going to strong link these guys? And make coins out of that way as well. It's easy, easy, easy coins. 
you'll see in the evening video tomorrow. So like this is from this video you'll see today is going to be what I've done on the night basically of the first day of headliners. The evening video today will be what happened throughout the day you're really watching this. So Saturday day, I'll be listening to this all on the stream, setting this all off and whatnot. And I'm going to try and get a settled coin total for you before 6 p.m. So you guys can see exactly what I've made, what I've sold, what I've done. And you see the profit that I've made and how I've made that profit with each card. And that way you guys get an idea of what I'm doing. And you know that I'm not the one of these guys sitting there going, do this, but not doing it myself. I'm doing all the same trading methods I'm teaching you. Summing this up, best way to you guys, you guys to trade, realistically. Silver cards, OP as always. Always OP. Never forget that, 100%. Link investing, massive at the moment, huge at the moment. The, there was no point doing the non-rare investing left back, right back, right wings. The pack wasn't that great. The requirements weren't that bad. Gonna uh, you're going to hear, you're about to hear the um, V273 talking. Well, thank you, Rampage Goods, for the uh, follow. Um, the, 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 again, so later on, will be, it'll be very good. The left back, left wings and whatnot will be good to do when there's a better pack SBC in there, without a doubt. Um, and fodder. Fodder's very, very good right now. Snipe your fodder. You will make a lot of coins. Go and do it. Um, but lads, that's going to be the end of the video, except for... How you went to the £15 giveaway? The £15 giveaway, lads, what I want you to do below is comment down below the headliner card you most want to pack. Now, don't buy FIFA points. I always tell you not to. But just comment down below with the headliner card you most want to pack throughout this promo. And I will pick a winner next week in the link to this video. Next Saturday, probably will be the next time we do that. Uh, but don't forget to watch this evening's video to watch how much coins I make from all these investments. Uh, but for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe. You can't win otherwise. Speak to you soon.